All right, guys, let's check out Evan Stewart from Frisco, Texas, one of the best wide receivers in the country, known as a five-star prospect. Let's see if he's every bit the five-star prospect. So Evan Stewart here takes the football, breaks some tackles, and he is gone to the crib. Let's see, you know, Evan. So so Evan Stewart, you can kind of throw it to him on these, on these swing patterns. He has speed. He can be a punt returner. He can be like a Tavon Austin type of talent. There it looks like it might be raining a little bit. You're going to even see his speed more demonstrated. He's six feet tall, but he already is so, so twitchy. This is probably my favorite cut up is this two-yard touchdown because watch his feet. Watch. You cannot stay in front of him. That is an elite level play, and he doesn't even go to the corner of the end zone there. He kind of waits for his quarterback, but he completely jukes that guy out. I mean, in press, you cannot stay with this guy. This guy's feet just are too fast. That's what Evan Stewart's going to do to you. So let's see Stewart. He's lined up here on the outside. And Stewart, this might be a post. It is a post. And the guy is even playing off coverage. He still can't stay in front of Evan Stewart, who just blows by him for a touchdown. Look at Stewart, the fastest wide receiver that I have seen that I have covered yet. I'm covering Texas A&M this week. Uh, Evan Stewart here. This is his skill set, his speed. And with Jimbo Fisher, he's got to get Evan Stewart on the move, whether it's Haynes King, Max Johnson, Connor Wiegman. You know, Haynes King probably has the best arm out of anybody, you know, in in the quarterback room. I mean, Max Johnson considered an accurate passer. Wiegman's kind of, you know, the run-read option, you know, type of Sam Ellinger gamer type of quarterback. Um, that's that's a good throw here, and and let's see, you know, top of the screen again. He could just beat anybody off of the line of scrimmage, so he's a little bit like Tyree Kill, a little bit in Deshaun Jackson esque in that way, the way he could track the deep ball. But here is where he's better than Deshaun Jackson is his route running ability. Here, uh, that's an elite, that's an elite slant route. Watch, easy separation quickly. Off the line, he is not just a one-trick pony running deep down the field for fly patterns. He is a great route runner. This kid is a tremendous route runner. And that's why I'm so excited to see Evan Stewart. Um, he He's probably, I know he's graded as a first-round wide receiver. I guess, does he have like Jalen Waddle burst? I mean, Waddle seems like physically bigger. That's the thing about Stewart is he's not the biggest guy. Um, but again, he's 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 kind of similar to a Tyreek Hill. He definitely seems like a starting NFL wide receiver, and I think he's probably going to be one of the best. He should be the best wide receiver on the team when he gets to campus as a freshman. So, I mean, Evan Stewart um, is going to be such a problem for defenses. you got to find a quarterback. Like, hopefully Haynes can win that job. I think Haynes has the biggest upside. And hopefully Haynes can put the football out there for Evan to go and fetch to go and get. Here's Evan Stewart. Again, he runs deep. He just has a different level burst. I mean, he's so comfortable running 40 yards down the field. He doesn't slow up. He has that type of stamina. All right, let's see Stewart here. I mean, the way that you have to go after Stewart, maybe you get a physical corner that can hopefully, you know, if you're guarding him, uh, if you're a team in the SEC, you have to get a physical corner that can maybe try to beat him off of the line of scrimmage. Because if you give him space, I mean, it's over. He is just a next-level athlete. You see why he's a five-star player. Um, Because he does have the route running ability. He is a burner. You do see a lot of these. And he will expand. The one thing about Jimbo Fisher, it's a very interesting fit. Because if he was in an air raid system like the, the one at North Carolina, for example, he would easily be a guy that can haul in a lot of touchdowns but Jimbo Fisher in a pro style offense it's certainly an interesting fit I mean if he was at Alabama you know he would he would definitely catch vertical passes from Bryce Young immediately Um, but Jimbo Fisher how is he going to utilize him in a pro style scheme in a west coast kind of short passing game offensive scheme has Jimbo Fisher ever really had a wide receiver that's been this fast I mean, you look at the guys like maybe Kelvin Benjamin was was his, you know, one of his really good wide 
wide receivers at Florida State. It's usually power run game, great tight end play. The quarterbacks are going to have to hit him on slants, and he's going to have to make people miss. It's an interesting fit for Evan Stewart. Um, and again, you know, you want to see him. He could probably reach his potential anywhere. I'm surprised even like Ohio State probably has some guys already. But Evan Stewart is from Texas, and he goes to Texas A&M to join this class. So it's going to be interesting how Jimbo uses him. I'm really excited to see uh, how he progresses, even how he does as a freshman a wide receiver. He does go up and make vertical catches. So as a smaller guy, you know, at six feet, you know, he does go up there and make vertical catches, contested catches, which I really like to see. You got it in bunch formations, he could be super, super dangerous. So Evan Stewart, all the ability in the world. Again, who would I compare him to? A little bit of Tyreek Hill, a little Jalen Waddle, a real speedster. Um, but his route running is what separates him. And again, will likely get, that's why he's going to be in the NFL. Um, Against press, that's going to be the interesting thing about Stewart is against press, you know, can he beat press? But he could probably beat it because his footwork is just so, so elite. He'll always have a spot on the football field because he's a home run hitter from Jump Street. So that's Evan Stewart.